Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to some more Zurao. Welcome back to another Pro 1v1 match. Today, we are back with Fargo against Size. I know it was the same two players that we uploaded as of recently, but I have so many replays of these two guys, and the last uh, video I uploaded of them was so popular. Why not do another one? And it's on a map that I actually quite like looking at. Uh, can you guess the name of the map with all these doubled up crates here? This is called Mountain Mayhem, and down in the bottom right, we have Size with the orange China Nuke. And up in the top right, we have his nemesis, the blue Fargo, which is the GLA Demolition. Now, the cool funky thing about this map, which I mentioned uh, in the past, is that because these crates are all doubled up here, what it effectively means is you could do another supply on the other side. So you could go supply, supply, and have another supply on the other side and be on three supplies pretty quick. Looks like Size is uh, keeping his CC though. And I think the reason he's able to do that actually is because it was a crate in the base that I think you probably saw it, but I didn't mention it. I think he's already got it. Starts like quite close to the CC, I think. Um, maybe that gives him an extra thousand boost, which therefore means you can actually keep your CC. Maybe that would be interesting actually. If Zero Hour, you started at 11k instead of 10k. You could probably find more situations where you would see players keeping their CC rather than uh, selling. It would change the dynamic a hell of a lot. Probably probably wouldn't be good because I do think it adds an element um, to the game, like being able to doze a hunt even when you're behind and stuff like that. But this is something to think about. Terrorist there for Fargo does go down. Fargo also not gone for the double supply on the uh, two sides. Uh, another terrorist is Fargo. You can tell it's Fargo, can't you, with the terrorists? Terrorist usage already on point. Kills a truck there as well as the War Factory. Nice TNT so far. But there's a Battlemaster in his supply line, and probably that is more painful. Actually, I do take that back. <laughs> He's going to get a super tech. Oh, my God. Why did why did Size not just move his trucks then? If he, if he moved his trucks, I would consider him quite ahead. But the fact that he's just been able to kill two trucks and grab himself a super tech, that sets Fargo in quite a good position. So this map is quite narrow and quite long. Uh, there's supplies up in the top right and also expansion down in the bottom left. The south player typically ends up with quite a nice divide down the middle, like where the mouse cursor is now. Bunch of technicals of Fargo pushing into the base. Needs to protect his super tech though. Is currently on quite a low HP. Does take down a dozer and he's dropped off a load of RPGs. Size is in quite a predicament there in his base. He's got quite a lot of RPGs. And the super tech. Uh, size coming in with the battle master. Tries to suicide it to kill something, but unfortunately doesn't kill anything. Actually, this technical is now vet three. Flamer there. Struggling to get things done, although he is clearing things very slowly. But yeah, size is having problems in his base, and typically his nuke is really, really solid. When he gets this amount of battle masters up. Well, maybe not this amount, but when he gets like six, seven battle masters, he's very, very good at clearing up the map. They're very, very strong. But already now, he's in a lot of trouble. The, t the TNT in the beginning, the terrorist usage from Fargo, again, causing massive, massive problems. Fargo is also, also expanding at the top right. Did lose a technical there, though, and also didn't get the last hit with his super tech. He wanted to get the last hit with his super tech, because then that one will vet up. He's now wasted another one to the mines. But size has expanded down the bottom left, rebuilt his power. But yeah, Sai's taking quite a lot of damage. It's not um, totally unrecoverable, I don't think, because Fargo's only just dropped down his third, still collecting on one worker. Um, and Fargo doesn't have the oils. But if Fargo gets the oils and, and reinforces the amount of workers on that supply, then I consider him quite far ahead. But currently, I think this is still recoverable for size. Finally, Sizer's base is cleared up, but Fargo's only collecting on three workers, and it looks like he's also not collecting there from a unit that's... I uh, don't even know what's happened there. I think Fargo's just kept up the aggression so well that he's not actually focused in his base, so really, all the damage he's doing is kind of negated by a hell of a lot by the amount of workers collecting here, which is only two now, by the way, and still no workers there. Uh, so yeah, you can do all the damage in the world, but if you're actually not collecting properly at home, you're kind of hindering yourself without size needing to do the damage. I mean, size has obviously done the damage there, but Fargo needs to re reinforce that amount of workers. Still a terrorist down in the bottom of size's base, of course there is. Uh, 
I think already this is shaping up to be a good game because that was immense damage done to size. Really, Fargo should be closing this out. If he'd replaced those workers and secured himself the oils behind this, then there really should be no way for size to win. But because Fargo has slowed himself down by not having that amount of workers out and still only collecting on two workers here by the looks of things, because that will now, if you pay attention, is idle. So yeah, Fargo's economy, whenever you look at it, is never really... That's the first time he's gone over a 1,000 that I've seen in a while. I think he's just uh, spent some money either on some terrorists or maybe the capture upgrade. Yeah, the capture upgrade, I think, is researching now. Like, if he can grab the oils now... Ooh, he's trying another terrorist, but this one's not quite working out for him. Maybe... Not even sure what he's going for there, really. Just keeping size on his toes, keeping size busy. Size is going for the oils himself. There is obviously that one there on the hill which is the one size is actually going for now. More terrorists in the mix for Fargo. Size quite rightly though, retreating for now, but it is keeping size back, isn't it? Even just like two terrorists does keep size back for now. But still not convinced Fargo's collecting on enough workers. Like there is only three, there should be six. There's okay, and then his main is okay. But size is now getting up to that key amount of battle masses up, which uh, usually he's very, very strong with. Fargo's grabbing himself two oils. One's going to be captured relatively uh, shortly. This one a moment after. But size has definitely stabilized. He's grabbed himself an oil reinforcement pad. And if that was an oil that got denied, I don't know if there was a rebel there or not. Can you actually go down there? Didn't actually realize that. You can actually apparently go down there. This helix is really going to cause some problems for Fargo because he has no anti-air out whatsoever. There's no stingers, no uh, no quads. He might have one or two RPGs, but is that really going to do anything against the helix? I think size should carry on. Uh, he could even go to the base and probably win now, but as we know, sometimes size likes to take it easy. It's going into the base now. It's going to try and take down the main tunnel, but there is one quad cannon out and a stinger building. I think size could probably go in and do a little bit more damage. You could definitely pick off that one quad and get out, but yeah, we have seen size lose helixes before, like unnecessarily, so maybe he just wants to play it a little bit more safe here. Um, oil now going to catch you by size there. Propaganda is probably going to go down. The helix is on the way. It's kind of going in the wrong direction, though. What is size doing, man? He could have saved his prop. He could have saved his prop and the dozer there if he'd gone straight to it, but he didn't go straight to it. A little bit strange. But something that Fargo definitely needs because now he's forced to make quads, but there's going to actually be overlords out and quads do not be overlords, like even remotely. You're going to need a mix now of quads, stingers, uh, demo bike, demo of ambush, that kind of stuff. You're going to need a, a more of a mix, but size is clearing up. And yeah, I mean, if Fargo goes on to lose this game, this is purely his uh, his own fault, really. He was, he was so focused on the aggression, and the aggression was working out nice for him. But it's all... Size is now well and truly back in the game, all because of those... Um, th those la lack of workers on, on supplies all round, really. Size is going to focus on the palace. He might suicide these Lixers, though. The benefit he's got going for him is that these quads are a little bit trapped up here now. The helixes might have time to get out. One quad does go down, but it looks like at least one helix is going to go down. Size is going to sacrifice all of these, by the way. There's an overlord on the way as well. I'm not sure if that's a mistake or not. <laughs> Size has got himself up to level three. Another helix is going to fall very, very soon. He's trying to evac the bunker licks. That's a decent evac, but there's an <laughs> overlord in the mix. Oh, man. That, that overlord is a mistake. Fargo is getting deleted here, man. Carpet and artillery just wipe out his main base. Supply. Stinger taken down to the hole. The arms dealer has gone down. And that overlord mistake there from size. <laughs> Not quite sure what it achieved, to be honest. And Fargo's still leading the way in terms of the XP. And it will take even a bigger lead now. He's just killed the rest of those tank hunters. Another arms dealer being built by Fargo, as well as the palace. But I feel like even though Fargo's ahead in terms of the XP, size is uh, 
Sai's just in a more solid position, I feel, because Fargo's having to rebuild the infrastructure, which is like the palace, the arms dealer, uh, su main supply. This supply's still going. Sai's only collected on one truck. I'm sure he's been collected on one truck there for ages. Sai's has this order, and he's deployed mines in front of it, so Fargo's not going to be able to capture it. He might struggle to kill it as well, unless he comes in from this angle. But Fargo's losing map control, and he's got a big blob of units in the middle, but... I mean, even against Battlemasters, you're probably going to lose a lot of your stuff, at least. Ooh, that is a nice demo trap, man. I always say demo traps are the best building in the game. It costs $200, they build so, so quick, and he just took out four and nearly five Battlemasters in one shot. Really nice there from Fargo. It's, it's things like that, man, like... That, that's a that's a big hit. Four tanks down in one uh, one two hundred dollar stealth building that literally Fargo didn't even really need at any point. Another terrorist walks into some battle masters. Overlord's now on the way. Gonna pick off probably this quad. Yep. Fargo might have a Jarman kill out soon though, because that palace did start rebuilding quite a while ago. It is up now. This battle master here is gonna go down, but these two overlords just wrecking things, man. They're literally <laughs> wrecking things. Uh, what is Fargo going to do? He does not have the demolition upgrade. He does not have the upgrade, but the demo bike is on the way anyway. He does not hit. Size focuses it down. I think he... Size is wise enough to click. Ooh. I say size is wise enough to click on the units and see he doesn't have the demo upgrade, but actually the demo upgrade just finished. And Size has not killed Fargo just yet, although that, that was looking like a killer blow, but Fargo manages to hold on. And now Fargo's actually got himself an Overlord. He's trying to find the Lotus. Man, these size Fargo games are always good. <laughs> I've got a bunch that are like 200 kilobytes. And you know when they're like 200 kilobytes? You just, you just know it's going to be a good game. Just like that last one. Whoa, look at this, man. Ah, surely... Fargo's going to need, like, uh, yeah, an insane Rebel Ambush. He's going to need, like, a level 3 Rebel Ambush to kill that, or level 2 at least. Here comes a Carpet Bomb. He's going for the Barracks. Maybe he's realized that these terrorists are causing way too much damage. Ooh, Jean-Michel. That's essential, man. You need that. You really need that. Although this, the CC is about to finish. Can I hear something else being captured? What is it? The CC has just finished. It's going to happen. It has to happen here, man. He's waiting for the Rebel Ambush. Maybe he'll wait until it engages the Stinger. I don't know. Lotus is here too. Rebel Ambush somewhere around here. It's the only way Fargo can stay alive now, surely. Ooh. <laughs> well, we were on point for that view. That was decent. That was decent. Nuclear Missile is ready. Demo Bike hits the back of this Overlord. Overlord extremely low. So I was now asked to retreat. But remember that cooldown is on for the Rebel Ambush, isn't it? Like three minutes. There is a Jarman out now as well. So if, Far if Fargo preserves his units and uses the Jarman just to chip away at size of stuff, this could still still be really epic. But the fact that Fargo's got kicked off this and there's still 4k. 4k to get. Uh, Jarman Gel does escape. But if Fargo loses that supply as well, I don't know if that's recoverable. You're going to need some insane... You're going to need some insane moves to get kicked off that supply and your main. Uh, jean Michel is back out, but this Battlemaster is going to chase him down. He's actually just going to run. Ooh. I think the jean should have stayed hidden. Oh, man. jean has gone down again. $1,500 saying that, though. Fargo is on 7K. Fargo's now level 5 as well. Important to know. And he's got an Overlord advantage. Uh, worker kills the Lotus just by pressing I, which is the detonate button. Here comes the artillery again from Size. Size mined out on his main, mined out on his second, mined out on his third, and got an internet center and one oil. So that's the whole Size economy there. Now, I'm going to say it again, which I always say, is that instead of that internet center, you could probably have another like two or three helixes. And they could be winning the game probably right now. So by the time they pay for themselves, what kind of state is Fargo going to be in when you could have won the game uh, already? Do you see what I mean? Do you, do you really want to play a bunker game making new hackers against GLA's, against GLA's black markets? I mean, it's just size of style. 
suppose your your support powers for nuke are very strong because you can take out markets and uh with the car with the carpet artillery you've got mines emp it's all very strong stuff demo demo strong as well obviously you've got rebel ambush drop of a terrorist here's a nuke mig ah uh, yeah here comes a uh, sneak attack though from Fargo. Now, what is inside of it? If he finds this internet center, which he is probably going to, here's an anthrax as well, but is that a Fargo anthrax? It is a bit of a Fargo anthrax. Kind of anthrax his own stuff. Was that a. Was that on the Jarman? <laughs> or was that just a bunch of terrorists? I don't know, you know, about fighting this. I don't know, it's a bit painful, isn't it? Here comes a nuke mig. Oh, man, Fargo's just lost his entire army. I think maybe Fargo is better off just suiciding his old army for that. And I think the uh, Fargo Anthrax was actually better on the nuke mix. But I suppose Fargo probably blindly hit that. He probably didn't know. Uh, I know what he did. He didn't have any vision at all. So he clicked it where he thought there'd be trucks collecting, which there weren't. And then on the edge, he used his sneak attack. Of where he could see, because otherwise he couldn't see. Size is long distance collecting across the map with 25 trucks. And Fargo's main supply, of course, he is. So Size doesn't have many units out. But he has a nuke, and he has nuke mix. So really, he could just play the war of attrition here against Fargo. He's getting three units from that, whereas Fargo's uh, reinforcement powders died. I don't know where that even was. Somewhere over here, I think. But there's nothing really Fargo can do if he makes any, any unit at all. Can just be one-shotted by a nuke mic. Battle bus, quad, scorpions, buggies, no matter what you make. One shot from the nuke mic and that is it. Can't block it like USA can make Avengers and stuff like that. Uh, I feel like Fargo's best chance for a sneak attack was that one we just saw. Them Rebel Ambush does kill the mix though, but not whilst they are landed. There's still one in the air. I'm not sure if there was any on the ground. Maybe there was one or two on the ground. But there is one in the air. So I was just going to immediately rebuild it. Only cost a thousand. Yeah, it's a sh shame about the timing, man. If he waited for the Demo Rebel Ambush, Sneak and Amphrax all together, I, I feel that that definitely could have gone down. And then maybe you could have camped size out of the game with three markets against just one oil which you could probably eventually kill that as well oh man that sneak attack <laughs> it's probably not many but not many worse places what's he gonna even pop a terrorist of course it is he's gonna hit something though he's gonna hit the dozer john and kill as a worker coming why did he not just kill the dozer there he's gonna go for the ecm okay uh one worker detonates that was a bit of a weird sneak attack but i think fargo's just out of ideas, man. He's just trying to do whatever little thing he can do. There's a tunnel being built at size of second supply. Let's see if that gets up. Yeah, Fargo, man. He doesn't have much cash. And that's mined out now because size has collected it all. Ooh, tunnel being built there. I mean, the MIGs are back up. So I think that one's dead. It probably killed the tunnel hole as well. Um... Yeah, that's unfortunate. I mean, even if that had got up, what would it have killed? It probably would have killed one or two trucks at the max before size moved all of his stuff. This tunnel looks like it will get up, but again, what is it going to achieve? So I don't think Fargo's got anything to do any kind of attack. There is a nuke ready to fire. Ooh, size blind shot. Uh, Jean Miguel, where did he land? Where did he land? There he is. <laughs> oh, we found him eventually. Mm, I feel like Fargo is the piece of food and Size is just going to play with his food now. He's got the support powers to play with. He's got a nuke. I'll tell you, he's just going to take out that. Just simple. Mind drop in front of the arms dealer. Fargo can't produce. Ooh. That was quite a lot of quads there. That was quite a lot of quads. So Fargo is amassing some quads. But the problem is there, though. I mean, just against a few battle masters on guard mode in the base. 
What, what are a bunch of quads doing? Uh, and size is saving that nuke, isn't he? What's he saving the nuke for? He can see this part of the map because he's got the internet center upgrade. The satellite hack. Warning. A sneak attack has been detected. Okay, sneak attack, same place. Two Battlemasters here, though. Uh, a couple of terrorists to scare him off. Maybe a worker. Ooh, he's going to use the workers. Nuke mig coming in. Uh, okay, size. Can move in now with the Battlemasters. Oh, there's a worker here still. Is he going to pop? Oh, baby, that was a Fargo popping off. <laughs> They literally got nailed. They were outside of that sneak attack for about 0.25 seconds before they got one shot by size. And that was it. But I feel like Fargo is out of options. He, he tried there. The, the battle masters there were low. So he, he had to try something. But yeah, I feel like uh, Fargo has thrown this game away because his start was so epic. Probably there, isn't it? I feel like Fargo's start was so epic, but he put so much effort into it that he forgot to make workers there for ages. I mean, that's going to harass them. It. Yeah, it kills them. It actually just kills them outright. He forgot to make workers here for ages. And he didn't... Uh, because of that, it meant he didn't have enough cash to like get the oils and stuff. Whereas if he had just done those simple things... I swear he'd be he'd have won this game ages ago. But then again, Size probably could have won the game a few minutes ago if not investing into the Internet Center, in my opinion, as well. Okay, he's in, he's in a phenomenal position now. Obviously, he's got the Internet Center, but I just think that at that time that I pointed it out, if three Helixes showed up in Fargo Space, he had no anti-air. The game would have been over like probably five, ten minutes ago. So Fargo is trying. He's got a radar van, a Jarman, and a Dream. I think he's on cooldown, though, for the snipe ability. He's already sniped this one. Uh, I think the Jarman is done for, to be fair. Yeah, he's going to be dead. He's dead, baby. Fargo is dead. He's still got a bunch of quads. Don't know how he's still got quads. <laughs> But Size shows up with five battle masters, getting the horde bonus. So Size is clearing up. Fargo sells his palace. But yeah, I mean with the internet center, uh, the oil. Oh no, the oil is dead. Yeah, Fargo has been defeated. That was a, a really nice attempt there from you Fargo, but I just feel like, j just in terms of keeping the worker numbers up. That is literally his only downfall. He would have had more money then to drop down more tunnels, secure the oil. And it's like a it's like a snowball effect. You you get more money to make even more money. And then eventually you just have so much money you'd be able to drop down your palace, make loads of demo bikes, loads of stingers, stop the helixes doing anything. And it would have been GG from there. So yeah, that was definitely Fargo's game to win, but he let it slip because of those things, I feel. There's probably other little things as well that it, that he did. But I think that was definitely the main killer blow because size is economy there has collected a lot more i think he was on oils for longer than fargo and i think uh yeah maybe that internet center did make him some extra cash and he did actually he kicks fargo off his main didn't he and then collected all that from across map so all those things added together size is way more efficient fargo had a really decent start with end terrorist killed loads of trucks grabbed himself a super tech but yeah just literally needs to make the workers the basics the basics he's really good in the advanced stuff in terms of the attacking and killing size it's actually quite hard to do with gla as, as demo early game but actually in terms of the basics keeping up the member amount uh the, the amount of workers that was actually his downfall <laughs> anyway let me know if you want in the comments gg well played see you in the next one